it's been four years since we've seen a release in the Mortal Kombat franchise. And here we are. The folks in NetherRealm Studios have been hard at work crafting a masterpiece worthy of the Mortal Kombat name. And on April 23rd, 2019, Mortal Kombat 11 was deemed available to the masses. I bought the game on three systems. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and for the first time since Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the Wii, Mortal Kombat slices, dices, and dismembers its way onto the Nintendo Switch. It's been quite a few years since we've seen Mortal Kombat on a Nintendo console. Does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. As you all know, I score my um, reviews by four categories. Graphics, gameplay, presentation, sound, and accessibility. That's five. I told a lie. Um, so here we go. Graphics. Let me preface this by saying we're all aware of the power difference between the Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. So right off the bat, I want to let you know that the, the graphics on the Switch, while not bad, pale in comparison to its bigger brothers. The story mode cutscenes look great, but when it gets to the fighting, everything looks a little bit washed out. Backgrounds are not as crisp, and hair and facial hair textures are slightly off. You can really see a difference in Goro's lair, which is one of my favorite backgrounds in the game, when you look at the giant hulking corpse of Goro sitting center stage. He looks like a big giant gray, gray mass, whereas on the PlayStation you can see every detail. The bone structure, the ribs, the withering ponytail, it's all there. Gala, graphics for me get a solid 7 out of 10. Gameplay. This is where the game absolutely shines. The reason why the graphics are not as good as the other versions are simple. They prioritize gameplay over graphics, and it is much needed in a game like Mortal Kombat. The reason why the graphics are terrible in some spots are because they wanted the game to run at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. Sure, there are some frame frame rate drops in a couple stages because there's so much going on, but for the, but for the most part, everything remains intact in this version. The brutalities and fatalities are all here. Granted, some of them look ugly due to the graphical limitations that I mentioned earlier, but the bottom line is this. If you want Mortal Kombat on the go or just something to specifically practice your combos until you're able to get home to your PlayStation or Xbox version, this is absolutely perfect. The other downside to MK11 on the Switch is the amount of battery it drains when in handheld mode. I take my switch off the dock at 100%, and in about 3 hours I'm down below 70. Make sure you have one of those battery cases in handy because you could run out of battery very, very quickly. There is tons of, there are, there is tons of content in this game, but you're forced to use in-game currency such as coins, soul fragments, and hearts that you accumulate by performing brutalities and and fatalities, and you're forced to and you're forced to earn different skins for your character in a new mode known as Towers of Time. Complete a tower, unlock gear, and repeat. Beware, however. Some of these towers feature characters that are enhanced by different mystical powers and you'll need to counter those by using consumables that you earn in other mo modes of the game. 
My final issue is the online only nature of some modes like Towers of Time, for example, or the or the new and improved crypt. Whenever your switch falls asleep after you step away for, for ten minutes, you get kicked off the Mortal Kombat server and you need to close the application to relaunch and reconnect. This is a pain and I hope it gets fixed somehow because you're really not taking proper advantage of the Switch's portability. All these negatives being said, the gameplay gets a 9 out of 10. Sound and presentation. There's not much to say here. All of the sound is executed flawlessly with the exception of a few audio drops here and there. Voice acting is solid, except for one person who I will address in a moment. Um, now, this person was touted as a coup for NetherRealm. I'm talking about Ronda Rousey. I will admit, when she was announced as the voice of Sonya Blade, I was excited. As a fan of her work in the UFC, I was, and I was just starting to admire her in the WWE. I was abs absolutely <laughs> elated when I found out she was going to be the voice of one of the most badass females in video game history. But the performance fell f flat. Her, her lines in the story mode were delivered with no emotion and lacked urgency. What we wanted was a badass with attitude. What we got was Ben Stein. Presentation is e excellent. Mortal Kombat takes a page out of the highly successful Injustice 2 playbook by letting you know exactly how much damage you're inflicting on your opponent. Presentation gets a 7 out of 10 because I feel like graphics and presentation go hand in hand. Accessibility, the shortest of all the categories I feel. Can someone with a disability play this game and play it successfully? Yes and no. Many fighting games rely on timing and dexterity. One second is what lies between Landing a successful combo and a brutal demise. I feel like things are getting easier with the inventions of the Xbox accessible controller and other things, but we're not fully there yet. Accessibility gets a 5 out of 10. Overall for me, the Switch version gets an 8 out of 10, with shortcomings in the graphic department and Miss Rousey's abysmal, abysmal performance as an integral character, Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch performs admirably, but it does not eclipse the PlayStation or Xbox versions by any means. As I stated earlier, the, this version is suitable for Mortal Kombat on the go, or just practicing combos and other things by yourself. Walmart has the game discounted. And you can buy it there for 50 and it is retailing at other major retailers for the price of $59.99. Once again, guys, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Give me your impressions of Mortal Kombat 11 in the description below. In the comments below, rather. Sorry. And, um, once again, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Um, there will be merchandise coming soon, which I'm working on. So there will be Fiverr t-shirts and whatever. But I'm working on it. And, um, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Game on, five out.